Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So this integration we have, right? And we have to solve it with the help of residue. That means it is one type of application of residue. So in this video, we will discuss how to solve this problem. We will find out its final answer. And at the end of this video, I'm going to give you one problem to solve at your own. Getting there, that means a homework problem. So by observing the method and the procedure of this solution, you can try for that problem on your own. Okay, so just start, let us start this problem. See, uh, there is a separate procedure to find such types of problems. That means we should have integration of this form minus infinity infinity p of x upon q of x. p of x is a polynomial in x, q of x is also polynomial in x. You can easily see polynomial in x, polynomial in x, get it? Degree of q must be greater than or equal to degree of p by at least 2. That means degree of denominator. What is this degree? 4. Degree of numerator is 2. That means degree of denominator is greater than or equal to degree of numerator by at least 2 getting so you can easily see the difference is 2 here after that there is some theory part but see i am not going to discuss the theory in details my mainly focus on the procedure and the solution of this problem what i do we consider a large semicircle centered at origin getting so we consider a large semicircle centered at origin which lies in the upper half of a plane diameter along real axis like that as we tend, uh, as we consider r tends to infinity, as we consider r tends to infinity, on this side it will go up to minus infinity, on that side we will go up to plus infinity, that means we, we get this type of limits, getting? So if r tends to infinity, we will get the entire upper half of a plane. After that, we consider the function f of z. f of z, that means replace x by z everywhere, okay? Then we find singular points. Singular points that means a point where the function is not analytic. We find out their position, exact position. Some singular points can be here, here, can be here, here. Okay. We consider only those singular points which are lying in a upper half. That means this one, this one. We will find residues at these singular points which are lying in a upper half of a plane. And the value of this integral is equal to 2 pi i sum of these residues. So this is the procedure. Okay. So here I am going to follow the same procedure and we will find a value of this integral with the help of residue. So let us start. Let us call i is equal to minus infinity to infinity x square plus x plus 2 upon x raised to 4 plus 10 x square plus 9 dx, right? So whatever inside this integration, we will call it as f of z. So here, tell me what is our f of z? Just replace x by z everywhere. z square plus z plus 2 upon z raised to 4 plus 10 z square plus 9. So as I told you earlier that we consider a contour okay, with large semicircle, all these things I supposed to write here. So let me write, consider a contour with a large semicircle centered at origin lies in upper half of a plane, upper half of a plane and diameter along a real axis. There is one theory behind it. So that's why we supposed to write the entire statement as it is in each and every problem of this type. You supposed to write this statement as it is getting no need to worry. So after that, what will I do? We need to check whether degree of denominator is greater than degree of numerator by two or not. We can easily see, no? So let me mention degree of denominator is greater than or equal to degree of numerator. 
by 2 that means it should be greater than this one by 2 so that's why i'm writing in this way you can easily see here the power is 4 here the power is 2 the difference is at least 2 it is maintained getting same thing can be written as that is that is z f of z tends to 0 as mod z tends to infinity see both statements have a same meaning getting no need to worry if you are co more comfortable with the first statement just mention the first one and go further okay so we have this space let us use let me remove this part that was my rough work okay yes so the everything is correct now we have to find the singular points of this function singular points that means a point where function is not analytic we can say the point where the denominator is zero but see in denominator we have a polynomial of degree four it will have four roots it is better to find its factor so we can easily solve it okay so what will i do i will find its factors first then we will find its singular points f of z what we have z square plus z plus 2 denominator see uh, z raised to 4 plus 10 z square plus 9 okay so will you tell me how can we express 9 as a product of two numbers such that their sum is 10 we want two numbers whose product is 9 and the sum is 10 so 9 and 1 product is 9 and the sum 9 plus 1 10 okay this type of thing we have already done in our schools right yeah we have already seen how to find factors i think in 9th standard or 10th standard so the first factor will be z square plus 9 and the second is z square plus 1 since z raised to 4 we had so that's why i supposed to write in this way z square plus 9 z square plus 1 but see again we can find factors of this bracket also since it is a polynomial of degree 2 that is also 2 so we have to further find out the factors the power is 4 we it is expected to get four separate brackets in denominator so z square plus z plus 2 upon z square minus 3i bracket square getting the point 3 square 9 i square i square is minus 1 minus minus plus so we will get z square plus minus uh, plus 9 get it same thing i have written in a different way same tick, uh, logic i can use here so z square minus i square what is i square minus 1 minus minus plus and you will get z square plus 1 okay i have expressed in this way since with the help of it i can find factors you know this formula a square minus b square it is a plus b a minus b so this formula is applicable for this both brackets since i have got the same format a square minus b square a square minus b square okay so to use this formula purposely i express the given brackets in this way so let us use the formula z square plus z plus 2 z plus 3i z minus 3i z plus i z minus i getting so the highest power of denominator was 4 that means uh, that power is 4 degrees 4 so that's why we express the denominator as a product of four different brackets so we got its factors if i put z is equal to minus 3 this bracket will be 0 if i put z is equal sorry minus 3i here if i put z is equal to 3i we get 0 for z is equal to minus i minus i plus i 0 for z is equal to i i minus i 0 that means for these four points we get a denominator z, 0 that means these are singular points so let me mention so therefore z is equal to plus 3i minus 3i plus i minus i simply you can write r singular points of f of z see uh, let me show you that suppose this is a complex plane 3 i 3 i is here getting a 3 i 1 2 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 okay and minus 3 i minus 3 is here i i is here and minus i minus i is here okay in a complex plane so we are interested in a singular points which are lying in a upper half 
of a plane that means we are interested in these two singular points and we have to find residue only at those points so let us find so i should mention it clearly first but z is equal to 3i and z is equal to lie i lie in upper half of a plane getting so that means we have to find residue only at z is equal to i and 3i so let us start to find residue of f of z at z is equal to i so now the question is how to find residue residue has a definition with the help of definition we can find residue but it involves Lorentz series expansion it will be very lengthy task to use definition to calculate residue fortunately all these are simple poles so we have a very simple formula to calculate residue i'm going to write the formula limit z tends to i getting i z minus i f of z right z minus i f of z so using this formula just by for, uh, finding the value of this limit we get the value of residue just make a screenshot of it then i will go further let us simplify it further okay so this is equal to limit z tends to i z minus i what is my f of z this is my f of z getting so numerator is z square plus z plus 1 see this denominator z plus 3i z minus 3i means z square plus 9 so i'm writing as it is getting and this z square plus 1 we have expressed as z plus i z minus 1 so now why i'm writing in this way not in this way since z minus i is there no so z minus i z minus i will get cancelled and nothing will get cancelled from these two brackets. So instead of writing two separate brackets, I simply wrote a single bracket. Okay. So the calculation will be more simple. So only for that I am writing it this way. Z minus i, Z minus i cancel. Okay. So now uh, the next task is to apply the limit. That means at a place of Z, I am going to write i everywhere. So i square plus i plus 1 i square plus 9 i plus i so let us use this space i square is minus 1 plus i plus 1 i square is minus 1 minus 1 plus 9 i plus i 2i so here minus 1 plus 1 will get cancelled i will be at numerator 8 and this 2i so i i will get cancelled and we will get 1 upon 16 okay so just make a uh, okay, we win upon 16 will get. Uh, see here our function is z numerator is z square plus z plus 2. By mistake I wrote 1. Here should be 2. Here also we will have 2. Here also we will have 2. So 2 minus 1 we will have 1. So 1 plus i. So we cannot cancel i i. Ready? So we will have let me write 1 plus i upon 16 i. Right? Upon 16 i. So this is residue of f at z is equal to i. But see, there is one more singular point which lies in the upper half of a plane that is 3i. It means we have to find residue at z is equal to 3i also. And it is also a simple pole. So I can use the same formula to calculate residue at z is equal to 3i. So now, residue of f of z at z is equal to 3i same formula limit z tends to 3i z minus 3i f of z okay so we have to put f of z here limit z tends to 3i z minus 3i so will you uh, see this value of f of z we should write will you guess what i write here a numerator i will write as it is it doesn't matter for us so z square plus z plus 2 right denominator so we have expressed the force bracket as a product of these two brackets getting and it there are chances of getting cancelled this bracket so i will write these two brackets z plus 3i z minus 3i but see these two brackets will not get cancelled so instead of writing two separate brackets i will express it as z square plus one so the calculation will be more simple okay for that so z minus 3i z minus 3i will get cancelled and for remaining part of a function, 
we have to put z is equal to 3i that means we have to apply the limit okay so just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us apply the limit okay let us see what will happen at a place of z i'm going to write 3i so 3i square plus 3i plus 2 in denominator 3i plus 3i z square 3i square that means 9i square plus 1 right okay i square is minus 1 minus 3 plus 3i plus 2 3i plus 3i 6i i square is minus 1 minus 9 plus 1 so minus 3 plus 2 minus 1 plus 3i minus 9 plus 1 minus 8 and this 6i minus 48i I will multiply numerator and denominator by minus 1. So, we will get 1 minus 3i upon 48i. So, this is residue at z is equal to 3i. So, out of 4 points, only 2 points were lying in the upper half of a plane. We found out residue at both points. So, therefore, we can write this value of integration minus infinity to infinity. What we have? x square plus x plus 2 upon x raised to 4 plus 10 x square plus 9 dx is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues. So, this is equal to 2 pi i. The first residue 1 plus i upon 69. Second residue 1 minus 3 i upon 48 i. See, denominator is different. We will try to maintain the same denominator so we can easily add numerators. For that, I need to multiply numerator and denominator by 3. So, we will have the same denominator. 2 pi i, 3 plus 3i upon 48i plus 1 minus 3i upon 48i. So, now the denominator is same 48i. Okay. We can add numerators plus 3a minus 3a will get cancelled. 3 plus 1, 4. I, I will get cancelled. Okay. I, I will get cancelled. And what will I have? Just a minute. Huh? I will write. See, I have made one mistake. Okay. So, 3i, if I put 3i square is 3. Square of 3 also we supposed to take, which is 9. So, here also we will have minus 9 minus 9 right minus 9 plus 2 minus 7 if you multiply numerator and denominator by minus 7 it will be plus 7 right so here 7 here also we'll have 7 minus 3a plus 3a cancel 3 plus 7 10 i i will get cancelled 20 pi upon 48 see now both are di divisible by 4 so 48 right so it is 5 pi upon 12 so this is a required answer okay this is value of this integration so the same type of problem i'm going to give you for homework just make a screenshot of it first so this problem is for homework for you okay so you can try to solve this problem on your own okay and see in next video i'm going to solve this problem in details so if you have any difficulty or if you want to cross check your answer, you can watch my next video. Okay, just note down this video, uh, sorry, example, and then we will stop. Thank you. See you.